I got a special dinner treat tonight. I'm gonna do the Bear Spray Hawaiian Samurai Burger. <laughs> Wait till you see this. All right, let me get set up and I'll show you what we're gonna do. Well, that wasn't too difficult. Got my gear set up. Blackstone, I guess I didn't get that seasoned well enough. It keeps rusting. And then I cooked on it this morning. I'll keep cooking on it. One thing I found to be very helpful, if you're, if you're gonna do the Blackstone thing and you don't have a picnic table and you don't have a whole bunch of hoes, when I'm setting up the the collapsible tables. I have found these big five gallon paint stir sticks to be invaluable for getting the grill level. Sometimes you just need a little, sometimes you need more than a little, but these are freaking awesome. All right, I'm gonna go inside. We're gonna start doing a little prep. I don't think I'm gonna put you through watching that. Um, but I'll let you see it before I cook it. So stand by, more to come. For the Bear Spray Hawaiian Samurai Burger, we gotta have some mushrooms. Last time I did the mushrooms on the flat top, I, well, I, I didn't feel like that was optimal. So we're gonna do mushrooms in a full pack on the gas grill, just a, a slow simmer. And I've, I've got a blend, it's a savory pizza blend shiitake and portobello baby bella so baby bella and shiitake mushrooms sauteed and we're going to use a real basic the faux bata himalayan sea salt garlic cayenne that's it oh a little bit of a little bit of apothic crush to give it that that savory oh mommy oh mommy all right i'm gonna i'm gonna do that up be right back. Second item on tonight's menu, because you have to have a vegetable, and lettuce doesn't really count. There's going to be green beans. I'm, I'm the only one here, so I don't need cooking a whole bunch of green beans. But this is a real simple. We got the faux butter, a little bit of, uh, just a did, bit of garlic, just a dash of garlic, and we're going to put the gospel barbecue rub on there. Holy gospel, that's some good stuff. Oh, yeah. Be careful what you ask for. You never, when you're looking for something and you're in small town Texas, when you go into the local retailer, convenience store, gas station, grocery store, the population of the town is like 300 people and there's a little store. Just be careful what you ask for because I walked in and I said, do y'all have any butter? The guy said, yeah, hold on. <laughs> I don't want to read the ingredients list. <laughs> but this is not butter. This is not even faux butter. This is margarine. We're not going to be using a whole lot of that tonight. Because I still have some of the faux butter. But we're going to be using some of that margarine. <laughs> What can I say? Lots of popcorn. All right, we're almost ready to start cooking. The bear spray, of course, you know the bear spray burger or the bear spray steak. The, the bear spray theme is to take peppers, sweat them down on the grill, the skillet, and get them super tender. Mix them with some onions, you know, caramelize them a little bit. So for today's, bear spray Hawaiian Samurai. We have jalapenos, serranos, jalapenos, not jalapeno, that's the jalapeno. Habanero. Gotta add some orange, some habanero, and some onion. All right, I, now the last, the last time I did the bear spray, 
I cleaned the peppers too well, so there was hardly any spice at all. So I've, I've not been quite as aggressive as cleaning the seeds and the pith out of the, the center of the pepper, and I've left a little bit, so we get a little, little bit of heat going. Okay, so why is it the Hawaiian samurai? You have to be wondering. So we're going to use sweet Hawaiian buns. And I found the ground Wagyu beef patties. So now you see the Hawaiian Samurai. Bear spray, Hawaiian Samurai. Let's get to cooking. All right, we are now cooking up some bear spray. I'm the only one that's gonna eat this. Why did I, why did I, why so much? And it's smelling good. I realize it probably wouldn't be quite as funny the second time around if I if I start gagging on the on the capsation, but literally this is I'm, I'm walking downwind of it, and it and it's not it's not hitting me in a bad way. Um, I guess I'm cleaning too much of the spicy out. Back to cooking. The wind keeps the wind keeps blowing out the griddle. I mean the grill. Burn on the nose. 
get the mic over here where you can hear me. All right. Got a little, got the caramelization. Look how, oh man, it's got a little char to it. It's super soft. Look how, ooh, ha, it just, oh yeah. Got that, opening up my sinuses. I'm not gagging on it, so that's a good thing. We are ready to, we're ready to cook some burger. Now comes the samurai part. No seasoning straight out of the pack. So the wind is hitting the back of the grill. The wind is hitting the back of the broil king in just the at just the right angle to, to keep blowing the flame out. So my mushrooms are not even close to being where they need to be, much less the green beans. So that's that's what I've got here. Of course, we're we're starting to puff up. So that's kind of cool. We get to see the poofy action at work. Ooh. Now comes the Hawaiian part. That part's done. Let's go inside. Here I am. The Bear Spray Hawaiian Samurai. It's, I think, I'm pretty sure my veggies are not going to be where I want them to be because of the issues with the grill. So we'll... Right, so that's just... That's not quite as done as I like on the mushrooms. Still tasty, don't get me wrong. Time out with the green beans. They're almost there. They're still a little, a little more crunchy than I like them. Yappy would like those. They're not really soft, and I like I like my beans really, my green beans really soft. All right, so let's get to the burger. Got a little lettuce I'm putting on here. 
couple pieces of romaine burger you know it's a burger so you got to get your hands into the burger got a little bit of tomato now I'm, I'm gonna change my approach instead of trying to put the the pepper compote onto the burger I'm gonna I'm just gonna put the pepper compote directly into the to the mouth bite for bite kind of situation and same over the mushrooms by the mushroom mm. nice earthy flavor here comes some hell mm. oh man that's that's good that is so good it'll a little bit of heat not that much if you don't like heat at all that this would probably not be for you but if you like if you like heat this is just it, it, it's it's almost perfect it's not overwhelming oh my god i gotta go dunk my head in a trough full of water it's like yeah that is good i need another bite of something else so let's cut <laughs> let's cut the burger yeah i should have got a sharper knife Because my bun broke, everything broke apart. That's what happens when you use a dull knife. Don't use a dull knife. I like I like my my beef to be medium rare, but when we're cooking hamburger, you really want it to be medium or better because. It's ground meat. Perfect. Son. Oh. Mmm. Let's throw a little bit of pep bear spray. Mmm. That's what I'm talking about. That's some good stuff. Mm. So you got to do this. Boom, table. Table's moving. So this is really good. Everything comes together very nicely. I'm not a food critic. I just like to eat. So I'm not going to try to say, tell you, I'm not going to try to explain to you how all these different flavors come together. You just have to go cook it and figure it out for yourself because it really works well together. The, the mushroom mix that I bought could have been better because it's like bits and pieces. It's not slices. Taste wise, it was great. So once again, I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint you. You don't get to see me cry in agony after I eat food that is so hot that no mortal person should be eating it. This has got the right mix of hot and not savory and sweet. I mean, you've got the mushrooms for the savory, the beef patty for savory, and the beef patty is really, really good. And then you've got the bun for sweet. When you bring in that extra something with the pepper, mm. I'll do this again. Now those beef patties, I found them H-E-B. Those were at H-E-B. And it was $10 for the package. So that's an expensive burger to cook on the, camp, the campsite. I think it's well worth it. So everything's getting cold while I'm talking to you. So I'm going to hang up and eat. If you've not already, please click on the subscribe button and hit that bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I'm very deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. Y'all keep me going. With that being said, y'all come back now, you hear?